Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan with Elise and today we are planning in my classic happy planner for my February currently page. It's already time to start prepping for February. So I have a year of planning volume two by Whimsy Lux. I love this sticker book used the I have two of them so I know I use these boxes but I guess I use them in the other sticker book that I had look how much fun these are for Valentine's now I have mixed feelings about Valentine's Day I don't really care about it I think I've only ever been in a relationship one time on Valentine's Day but I like the stickers they're pretty so I want to use them and I think that these would be really fun so I was trying to see what coordinates so you have this page of decorative stickers and then boxes that coordinate with them really well. But I also like to kind of play around and include some other things. So I came across Rainbow Quotes by Kel of a Plan and I saw this quote, be brave enough to let go of the past and fight for the present you deserve. And I think that that is such a beautiful quote and the pink goes really nicely and it's just perfect for my currently page. So this is kind of like a similar way that I've been setting up my currently pages for a while. Hopefully it's not boring content, but sometimes if something's not broken, I don't necessarily want to change it. <laughs> I want to say fix it, but change it. We're going to cover up priorities and goals um, so that I can put this here. I feel like I need to like really ugh, hone this in. Okay, and make sure that it's set. Okay. I like that. I think it looks really nice. All right. I'm going to put rainbow quotes away for now. Actually, before I do that, let me just pop open the pink page for a second. I think I just bought, like just, I think I bought, I purchased a backup of this because I've been using it more often and um, I was running out of quotes. So that's one of those like essential type sticker books that I would definitely, if you don't have, I would definitely recommend. I'll be sure to link it. All right. Be brave enough to let go of the past and fight for the present you deserve. I think that's really nice. And then we're going to open my book of bullets from all different types of sticker books. I'm probably not going to find this blue that we have over here but I'll definitely be able to find the pink. These are such a mess because I've colored in so many of them. Um, no, that's like a little bit more of a teal than a blue. So we'll go to, I feel like the hot pink is gonna be the best match over here. So I'm gonna grab a couple of bullets and we're going to use these for important dates. I'm gonna stick with the pink for no other reason than if I go to this peachy color, I feel like this is so light that if I were to take a photo to put on Instagram, when I brighten the photo, it probably would disappear. So it's like a silly reason to not use a color in my planner, but as someone who takes photos of my planner to put on Instagram, that's something that I am kind of mindful about. All right, so over here is where we're going to write dates that are upcoming. So I know of two things that I have going on in February, but there's a whole month to add more in. So I'm going to start up here and I'm going to write um, February 9th. I have a doctor appointment. And then February 11th, my mom and I have a spa day, which I'm so excited for, just like a full blown spa day, which will be really, really nice. And then of course we have Valentine's Day and President's Day already down here. And then I'm going to be able to use those two boxes or those other two bullets for anything else that's coming up. All right, now let's go over here for a second and I was thinking that I kind of wanted to change a little bit of the way that I map this out. I'm still deciding this section. That's why we're still we're still blank. Last month I said that I was thinking of putting my goals. The thing is now I'm like really being intentional about using my planner as a goal setting planner. So I don't really know if I need the goals over here or I need them and and I need them there. I feel like it's like duplicated. 
and I just am not sure if it's really necessary to duplicate them. So I'm figuring out what these, what these are going to be for. And then let's bring in this really pretty bouquet of flowers over here. And then I also grabbed this washi tape. This was from the Happy and Grateful Heart Be Happy Box in 2021. It's like, isn't it sometimes crazy when I can't remember what I had for dinner last night, but I can see a sticker or, or washi and pretty much know, that's crooked, exactly where it came from, which is a little absurd. But it's okay. That's how it goes sometimes. And then and honestly, I do know what I had for dinner last night. I had pizza. However, there's probably like a 20% chance any night that pizza is what I had for dinner. So it's not that impressive for me to know what I had. Okay. That said, I'm going to go back to Kel the Plan sticker book. Here I have Planner Words Letter by Kel the Plan, volume five, Rainbow Words. Definitely another must have sticker book. And we're going to grab this one for some currently boxes. And then let's see, looking forward to, I always like this one. I think it's always important to think about what we're looking forward to, what's coming up. It can be hard to be stuck in what we're currently going through and sometimes forget that we have things that are going to be fun. So like, I'm just kind of spacing this out for a second. Things I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to Go Wild, but that's really March. But it's March 1st is when I leave for Go Wild. So it's not that far off. <laughs> um, but we're going to do looking forward to, this is going to go here. And then we'll bring, maybe we'll do a pink box, a brighter pink box. We can do this one. I'm going to scoot it over a little bit. And let's choose. Hmm. Which one do I want to do? Working on. What I've been working on in January is balance. And it's working, let me tell you. It's really working. It's definitely a work in progress. It's not something that always comes that easily. But with anything in life, it's practice. And the practice is actually doing it. So now, I don't know that I have... Hmm, let's put this here. I'm trying to see if there's a word for reading. Wait, I kind of want to change up what I'm thinking. I want to do like a bullet list of reading. But I feel like I first want to see, I don't think this sticker book has reading. Let's see, groceries, vitamins, dentist. Um, kitchen, self-care, progress. Hmm. We're going to have to go back to the bookshelf of stickers. Oh, wait. No, we don't have reading there. I'm trying to like map this all out in my head. Webinar. Reading. Okay, let me go look for a reading sticker. All right, I came across Words Volume 4, which has reading stickers. This reading is too big. However, we have currently reading and reading goal. I'm probably going to take reading goal. Let's take my knife. Oops. And pop this open. Oh my goodness. I need to stop for a second. I just realized I left my straightener on. Straightener has been turned off. If you are new to my channel, we do not edit here. <laughs> we just go with what's happening because that's that's what we do so <laughs> this year probably will be the year that i get an automatic shut off straining iron however um the one i have works and it was really expensive i bought it in i don't know like 10 years ago it's a chi chia is chia the pet chi i don't remember it's chi i don't know it works it's great 
I just have to remember to turn it off. So um, I don't want to necessarily get a new one if it's not broken. But if I knew I had an automatic shut off, that would probably save me a lot of like stress and anxiety sometimes. So that might be that might be on the list this year of wish list things to purchase. All right. Now I wanted to use bullets here for the reading. I just didn't want them to be right over here next to it. However, now I'm also thinking, wait a second, oh, changing our mind. What if I put reading here? I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with this space. What if I did that? Then we're going to have bullets and bullets. Is it going to bug you? Is it going to bug me? I don't know. We do have some, I have these like navy, this, these blues that I colored in. Is this a close enough blue? I don't know when I colored those in. It's pretty close. I think that's what we're going to do. So let's put in some books to read. And I don't know what they'll be yet. We'll figure that out together. I don't typically know what I'm going to read before I read it. Like, I know what I'm currently reading right now. And, but I, I'm not really one with like a to be read list. I'll finish a book and then go look at my Libby app, which is my library app to see what might be coming up soon. And then I'll usually browse Kindle Unlimited since I have a subscription and we'll see what's available there. Okay, so we'll set a goal of five books. The one thing I will say that's kind of bugging me about this spread, but we're gonna deal with it anyway, is that it's black font stickers with navy. I don't love the black and navy combination, but I know I'm probably gonna write in black. So I'm gonna deal with having the black font sticker as well. Okay. Now let's go back to the currently words. And I also want to bring in some more. We've got more stickers I have to remember to use everything I take out. Okay. Um, you can see everything. All right. Now I only really used that one. So let's continue. Um, I like this candle. Something over here, I feel like. Maybe you are my perfect match. It's not, it's gonna be a little bit big for this space. So let's try something that's sized a little bit smaller. Maybe this candle. Definitely too big. I don't know why I thought that was smaller. We could do the sunglasses, those are cute. Like right over here. It's a fun little little thing. Okay. Now we have some space right here. Not that I necessarily need to fill in every single bit of space, but this is a good space to fill in. Up here might not work, but over here we could. Could I bring in a candle there? Why not? Reading with the candle. I feel like that works well together. Okay. Let's go back to these. So I think we'll grab one of these boxes, maybe put it horizontally, and then we're going to grab Grateful Four. And put this right over here so it's like right next to the edge of the sunglasses. Oh, let's go down a little bit further. Got to get it straight. It's good when there's dot grid because it helps, but got to be able to use it properly. Okay. I think that's as good as it's going to get. Um, grateful for, we'll put right over here. And then I think we could do another one of these boxes. Oh, we're going to run out of some space over here. Hmm. I think this might need to be shifted. I also don't know though that it's going to work. Okay, I don't usually layer these, so let's do a little bit of layering. That'll work. And because I don't wanna see the line, we're gonna cover up using correction tape. Probably should have done it there too. Just a little bit in the corner. Okay, that's better. Um, let's see, maybe we can do enjoying. Oops, 
totally missed that. It's like when you take a fork full of food and you put it in your mouth, but you missed the food and you like, it's like when I'm eating salad and I forget, I don't look and I'm talking to someone or I'm busy and it's just like in my mouth, there's no salad in my mouth. It's all fork. You know what I mean? Am I the only one who does that? I don't know. Can you let me know in the comments? Uh, let me know in the comments if you don't pick up food. All right. Something else popped into my head. Loving. So I'd love to do a loving thing with like the bullets again, but I already have these bullets. So I think what we're going to do, because we have enough, is put loving over here and then bring in some more of these. So let's take this blue one. And maybe we'll just put four down here. Now, I still have more stickers I want to use. So I need to get those out. But we're going to take these. And this is where I can put four things that I'm loving in February. And I like to spend time filling this in throughout the month. Like once a week or so, I'll take a look at it and be like, oh, let me add this. This is something that came up this month. You know, if I fill it in always at the beginning of the month, I'm definitely going to miss out on some things that happen throughout the month. So I really, it's sort of like an ongoing project for me when it comes to my currently page. Oops, there's hair on this. Okay. Um, this is a washi cutter from Live Love Posh, but really you could use like this here too, maybe any um, gift card or credit card or card, <laughs> anything like that should work. Okay, now we have this here. So I'm going to use my We Are Memory Keepers punch. And I actually just had an idea because that looks weird the way that I put it with loving. So I was thinking if this will let me do it. We're going to peel this up. Let's continue this washi right here. I know it's a grid and I didn't line it up perfectly, but I'm going to I'm going to have to survive on that. <laughs> I don't want to take it off again. And then let's take loving and put this right over here. Sometimes I feel like I'm scared of layering and I need to not be scared of it. Okay. Um so these are good. Now let's go back to the icons because there's some fun illustrative ones. I mean, I used a few, but I feel like and I have obviously the boxes but I just kind of want to play around a little bit, a little bit more, but we're not going to use all these. There's no way that I'd have enough room to use them all on this page. We could maybe layer, I feel like this is going to be big. What if can we move working on? I don't know that it's going to let me move it. It's been down for a while. Let's try to do it without ripping anything. survived. It worked. Kind of like that. And then this one working on. And then I'm going to take this and cut off this white part that's kind of cutting through that G a little bit. Here we go. Okay. I think this is a really cute page. I think we're finished. And I like it actually more than like it. I think it's really cute. It's fun. It's positive. I'm excited to fill it in. So that is a wrap. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for hanging out with me during this a little bit of a nutty video. <laughs> um, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do take a moment to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll link everything below and I will see you next time.